Hi friends, welcome to Jenkins series. So in the previous videos, I explained about how to create the pipeline by using the Jenkins file in the real time, how we will create. So once you are good that part, then we'll see in the next part is about the test reports. Okay. If you're writing any project, the main thing, they will check the quality. Okay. Uh, how many test cases uh, is passed? How much percentage is done? Like uh, any, how any test case is failed while building your project. So how to generate those? those test reports by using the Jenkins okay uh, if you like those videos please subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon you will get the more interesting updates day to day okay so let me quickly start okay let me create a project okay we create a lot of jobs right you can categorize these jobs in different different folders like production jobs okay staging jobs uat jobs in that way okay what i will do uh, here okay i will explain that point what i will create i will create the new project okay so what you will give i will give as a uh, test underscore maven underscore report this is my project name this is a freestyle project once you are good this one then we'll add in the pipeline in the latter okay so click on the github project just to provide your github uh, url this is my project url if you want you can use this report but i'm keep on changing it maybe it will be fail or it will be run also okay uh, if you go down here there is a source code management what i'm give give the git and you need to give your repository url how to give just come here copy and paste it so github url also you given so i'm not touching anything build trigger i'm not i will build manually so before running your project you need to delete the workspace okay before new build started and if you come here there is a build build step is here click here there is a top level maven target okay what you want to do you you need to clean you need to compile then you need to test okay and there is a okay first i will run this project what will happen in the target folder we'll see there is a click build now your project will start so this is your workspace okay inside this workspace there is a target folder will be there inside this target folder if you see here lot of folders you have okay so your build is succeeded just let me refresh it click go for workspace there is a your pom.xml file your jenkins file and there is a target file okay in this target folder if you see sure fire hyphen reports in this reports your dot xml file will be there this is the report you need to configure in the jenkins if you click here it is a xml file you need to use this xml file you need this path okay what i will do i need this is this is your target path okay this is just to copy okay and go for uh, configure there is a left side there is a configure is there okay you just go down here in the go come down and there is a post build actions you have right click here there is a publish j unit test result report click this option okay here you need to provide where your xml file is generating if you given this link it will tell it will explain to you how many test cases are passed it will show one graph to you okay by using this plugin okay default while you are installing the plugin this plugin is available it will be installed automatically if not available how to install the plugin in the manage jenkins you know already just go and type the j unit you will get the plugin okay so next uh, i'm I enable this option it is saying does not match anything but perhaps what do you mean it is saying okay just here you need to provide star dot xml file okay just uh, click it here okay there is a space issue is there see okay target slash surefire reports dot xml star is nothing but any files you can say it okay uh, it's still it is happening what i will do i will type it surefire reports right just it is saying let me delete i will type it this one okay 
target folder inside which file surefire reports slash star dot xml file okay click enable this option this is one failing 1% fail test case scores at 90% 99% health 5% if one test case is uh, uh, you can enable this option also 1% fail that means your report it will give to you. if any test case is fail your build will be a fail okay and there is a one more option yellow empty results do not fail the build on empty test results that means if you wrote the test case that there is no data okay uh, you can enable this option also right now i'm not enabling this option okay just to save click build now so what will happen here in this build you are not able to see any test case you will get one new thing latest test results you will get if you click that how many test cases are there you can see okay let me refresh okay see here there is a latest test result no failures click here see test result zero failures how many test cases you ran you ran only one test case is available in our file how many pass skip fail and duration if you click it took around 65 milliseconds to run this particular test uh, test case okay if you click on this particular build okay how many files you have that many test cases it will show you see i have only one this class if you click here there is a only one test case name should answer with true this is the default test case okay i hope you guys are clear what i will do i will create this method five times then we'll see what will happen okay what i will do your test cases will be there inside your source directory inside your test folder okay this is your class app test dot java okay what i will do either you can edit in your git repository you can push either you can directly change here for the time being so what i will do i will uh, changing in inside the repository itself what i will do just copy paste five test cases you can write how many you want you can okay so method name should be a change okay one two three uh, four and five all test cases will be a pass okay what i will go um uh, you can write your commit okay uh, uh, duplicating same test case with different method names your okay it is saying max a different method okay your uh, commit name should be very proper while you are commit anything in your github repository okay now it is uh, test case is updated now what i will do here if you, again you can go here just build now click build now okay now new test case is re, uh, generating now but how it is generating means there is a default plugin will be there in your workspace uh there is a pom.xml if you open this pom.xml if you go down there is a one plugin is available that is this is the plugin surefire plugin if you want to publish any html reports then you need a site plugin this is another plugin we'll see one by one by one okay let me go back okay your build is a uh, success so uh, let me go see here automatic one graph came six test cases are executed one two this much if you click the test result see how many test cases five test cases see it's a uh, six six test cases six are passed so it took around 0.24 seconds to run all the test cases if you click here you can see all test case names here see one two three four five see six test cases are passed this is the way you need to generate test cases in your maven uh, this is the plugin you need to uh, it's the plugin default will be there this is the configuration you need to enable okay once you are good this one in the pipeline how to add in the next part i will explain okay i hope you guys are clear if you like this really this video please subscribe our channel to get more updates thank you guys